Have you ever noticed how the media and CNN in particular is either attacking Trump and Republicans or promoting and defending Democrats? Well, today they killed two birds with one stone during an alleged fact check segment where two fake journalists, one being Chris Cuomo, the other being this soy boy Toronto star propagandist named Daniel Dale. During this so-called fact check segment, they made many dubious claims, but the one that really made my head explode was that Democrats aren't for open borders. The two spent most of their time dismissing that the Democrats have ever showed any support for open borders and the rest of the time suggesting that the media should just dismiss any of those claims. So basically, they're just having a strategy session where they're discussing how to cover for Democrats and their unpopular positions on illegal immigration. It's always hilarious to me how they frame their Democrat cover as hard-hitting journalism combating lies, when, in fact, it is they who are being deceitful. Okay, this is about, again, another straight attack on, hey, it's not me, it's got to be somebody else. Okay, it's Obama. Okay, it's the Democrats. Okay, this video isn't about child separation, but I just have to address this lie that the media continues to trot out. Child separation is not Trump's policy. He didn't make it up. Trump's policy is to prosecute every illegal entry into the country. Child separation is a consequence of holding the adults or the parents for prosecution. This is due to the Ninth Circuit Court's ruling called the Flores decision. This decision was meant to be a mechanism for allowing illegals into the country since it only allowed for the adults to be detained for a short amount of time. Instead of separating the children, you're supposed to just let the family into the country at that point. However, Trump is taking a harder stance and is prosecuting every illegal to cross the border, and so children are being separated. CNN even had an Obama administration official on, which they of course didn't identify as such, just a CNN contributor, but she admitted that Obama separated children, but of course, it was completely different when they did it. And when President Obama separated children from their family's wealth, or from adults' wealth, it was for their protection. Right. It, was, it was if there was a risk of trafficking or other kind of harm that might have been incurred. But even if he did do that, why is Donald Trump saying that two wrongs make a right? Again, Obama wasn't wrong. But this is seriously like a mental tick with these people. They always rationalize their actions as being different. They never want to face their hypocrisy. And these days, they just dismiss it as a whataboutism. The media has purposely muddied the waters on this topic, just like they manipulate footage of Trump and claim he called immigrants animals when he was actually talking about MS-13. Well, I think the phrase open borders is an effective piece of political framing, but mm. that's in part because it's so rarely challenged for its factual inaccuracy by the media. And I think we should challenge it because it's, it's, it's simply not at all accurate. What this guy is actually saying is that we need to cover up any support for open borders in the Democrat Party because this is going to be a losing issue nationally and our job is to get Democrats elected. It's so maddening that this little twerp can sit there lying through his teeth and think nothing of it. Democrats do pretty obviously support open borders, but they're not just going to come right out and say that. They do, however, openly support illegal entry into the United States. They support giving sanctuary to people who have entered the country illegally, and they support giving illegals voting rights and driver's licenses. For people who supposedly don't support open borders, they sure do support all the things that cause people to ignore the borders. At least one of the Democrat frontrunners has been open and said that he would destroy all of our existing border walls, and it just happens to be the same guy that has people waving Mexican flags at all of his rallies, Beta Beto. Beta was asked if he would, quote, take down the wall here during an MSNBC segment, and he responded, quote, yes, absolutely, I would tear down the wall. So that's at least one big Democrat that said he's for open borders. Another big Democrat, the DNC co-chair Keith Ellison, is also an open supporter of open borders. Here he is pictured with a t-shirt that reads, I don't believe in borders in Spanish. Gee, I wonder why he would wear the shirt in Spanish and not in English. You see, these people do believe in open borders, but they just can't be open and honest about it. And while they're working towards that goal covertly, they have the media to run stories like this to deflect negative attention from them. All the while, their policies are systematically making the border and citizenship in this country completely meaningless. Never heard a single one say that they are for open borders borders and we ask meanwhile mainstream democrat voters are demanding open borders go to any anti-trump protest and you're gonna find many advocates for open borders the championed women's march was filled with democrat voters demanding open borders many of these protest groups if not all of them are closely aligned with the democrat party suspiciously missing from any of this reporting is videos of these protesters and people promoting open borders where is it 
As a so-called news organization, you would think CNN would be out there covering all of this, but instead they simply pretend as if it doesn't exist. Just like they do with all the hammer and sickle flags and the Mexican flags at Democrat rallies. Like I said, this so-called fact check is more like a Democrat strategy session where they come up with spin to deflect from the unpopular Democrat positions on illegal immigration. You'll never see anybody at CNN, or the rest of the media for that matter, combating claims that Republicans hate black people just because they want voter IDs. You'll never see any of these people defending Republicans from the claim that they're racist just because they want a border wall. Instead of reporting all the facts, they're just making them up as they go and suppressing anything that might contradict their claims. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. After you like, share, and subscribe, head on over to my Teespring store and check out our new designs. If you have any suggestions or criticisms, please post them in the comment section. I appreciate all feedback.